how to start writing a pseudocode. Let's look at the first question. Display hello awesome student. What do you think of its input process and output for the EPO analysis? What is the input for this question? Have input? No. Okay. You must remember that not all process, not all problem involve input. Okay, this is one of the example. Because sometimes computer only need to display only information to user, such as kiosk. Input no, process no, output hello some student. So how you start writing the pseudocode? You must start with start and then you step. Then you write down print hello awesome student and then stop. That's only the process involved in this pseudocode. Second question. Display hello awesome student with name entered by student. Okay, what do you think is uh, IPO analysis of, for these questions? From here also, you will learn the difference between message and variable. What is the input for this process? What do you think? Do we have an input here? Okay. In the question, need name entered by student. So, there is the clue for the input for this question. Okay. Input, name. How about process? Only hello awesome student with name so that means there is no process involved in here so what is the output hello some student and don't forget name so here you can see the difference between message and variable message you will make you must make sure if there is a message you must write double quote on the message between the message what is variable? No double quote. See? No double quote for the variable. What is variable? Variable is a memory location. That means name of this variable name. Name will store which can hold value that can be changed during program execution. When student enter name, you can see when student uh, computer asks enter name, then the student enter Amina. So the computer will display hello awesome student the message and then name of the uh, student. See that means name variable here will store Amina uh, and can store any name entered by the user. Okay. So how to write down the pseudocode? Okay, you must start with start. Okay, and then you must uh, next instruction. Make sure you indent first, then write enter name. Next, make sure you indent again. Make sure it's the, at the same level of read and print, at the same level indentation, and write print hello awesome student and name. Then don't forget to write stop and make sure, okay, no need to indent for stop because start and stop is, must be at the same level also. Okay, so make sure again you know to identify between message and between variable. Variable is a, again I repeat what is a variable. Variable is a memory location, any name, you can name it, memory location that can store any value that will be changed, can be changed also during executable process. Okay? okay. Let's transform question 3. Calculate current age of a person. Design a solution. 
so we already learned from previous uh, video how you get input process and output input is year birth and uh, year current current year and then the process is uh, current year minus with uh, year birth and then display each the result from that calculation then don't forget to write stop you can see in the memory computer enter year birth ask you to enter year birth then you can see the user enter 1918 and then enter year now current year 2020 then your age will be displayed because computer read print age is 40 Let's transform this question into a uh, pseudocode. Given the tuition fee rate for primary school, calculate the total fee that customer should pay for their child. Okay, we just transform, begin, and then enter quantity standard one four and quantity five six. Okay, can we use uh, name as your input? Name of student, can, can we use that? not relevant for this question why we 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 not use it in the process no need name for to this to be displayed in this question so no need to put name of student here can we also use uh, standard one for uh, name of standard one for what child or type of standard uh, can you enter type of standard in this question not relevant to okay not relevant because we are not use type to count this question so how what how you count it v1 and v2 quantity 1 4 of the student uh, multiplied by 50 and then v2 quantity 5 6 multiplied by 75 so if user enter 0 still doesn't matter because 0 times 75 equal to zero and then zero will be assigned to that variable and then v1 and v2 will be assigned into pay that's why our input will gonna be print pay and then stop uh, our pseudocode you also can return down like this begin enter quantity one four and enter quantity 56 and then pay just uh, put it all together like this uh, the calculation then store it into pay and then print pay don't forget and then end okay so I forgot to write a uh, tab here make sure you tap pay so that you can see it uh, clearly actually between enter and print have you done uh, display have you done the input have you done the process uh, that is much better if you put indentation what are the difference between indentation this one is much more easier to be read okay proceed question 5 calculate the diameter circumference and area of a circle so make sure you know how to calculate circumference there are three output you can see here how to calculate circumference and how to calculate diameter and area of circle so that means there here have three output from the question we already know what is the output needed for the uh, this question what is the input do you what do you think what is the input for these questions do you think is a number two is that correct no input cannot use any value that fix or constant value can you put pi no also cannot because pi have a constant value 3.142 okay so cannot nah? can you use radius yes 
you can because radius we don't know what is the value value can be changed by the user any value for that radius so this is from the formula we know what is the input for this uh, question so let's proceed with the pseudocode begin input radius diameter how you calculate it circumference how you calculate it you write down the formula correctly i already uh, teach you in the previous uh, video uh, how to write a pseudocode a rules and regulation for uh, writing formula okay make sure you writing formula correctly don't uh, use symbol okay don't forget about multiply put it to in the formula then how to calculate area scale and then print if not enough space there don't don't worry you just print again area scale make sure you already uh, show the output three output needed from the questions okay then end done Okay, next questions. The computer science lecture wish to determine determine final mark. How to get the final mark? Average from three quizzes and total from two tests. So that means from there we can see what is the output there. It is here is the output. And here is the input three quizzes and two tests input okay so let's proceed with the uh, pseudocode begin input three quiz uh, don't write three quiz just make sure you write it correctly because you need to store three uh, value quiz one quiz two and quiz three and test one and test two okay in different variable and then uh, you total quiz because you want to calculate average for that quiz and then final mark as you average uh, and total from two tests okay print final mark and okay how about these questions a factory workers is paid based on the total working hours Okay, per hour. That means one hour to ringgit fifty cents. Okay, then ten percent of the total salary will be deducted. That means will be uh, minus uh, for the co uh, contribution to KWSP. Okay, minus from the total salary. Salary. Prepare the monthly net salary. What is the net salary of the factory workers? Proceed with the answer. Begin input work hours. Okay. Then you calculate how you calculate total salary uh, for that person. Work hours multiplied by 2 ringgit 50 cents. Okay. From here, make sure you don't write it RM. Okay. To calculate formula, don't write RM 2.5. This is wrong. Eh? This is wrong. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you want to count work hours multiplied with the uh, fixed value eh, atau, uh, or uh, constant value, 2 ringgit 50 cents. Don't write the unit. If you write the unit, it's something like you want to write down uh, a variable name of variable start with the letter first so this is wrong don't ever ever do that okay just write the number only okay proceed how to calculate kwsp okay as a previous lesson i said don't write percentage okay write the decimal value Multiplied by salary, then you can you will gain uh, how much the KWSP to be deducted to gain net salary. Total salary will minus with the 
by KWSP, then you get net salary, then don't forget to print. So when you, you can see here when you put it uh, in the correct indentation, you will be easier to see either you already write the input, write the process and write the output easily. So that's why indentation is important uh, to you all understand how to do it right cor correctly. Okay, next question is calculate the body mass index. Okay, body mass index. Okay, how to calculate that? By using mass divided by high multiplied by high. Uh, this question actually to test you either you want to write it down uh, using a uh, superscript or hopefully you don't write like that. Okay, as mentioned in the rules of writing a formula, make sure you follow that video again if you can't remember what is the rules okay input kg high okay remember as i told you earlier kg or mass it is up to you if you want to use mass make sure you write down this here is mass you want to use kg use kg uh, use the same name in the input in the process and in the output if you use PMI, make sure you use uh, BMI in the output also correctly. Okay, stop. This is how you answer the question. Okay, next, calculate the total fee that customers should pay for their room stay. This one, I will let you do it by yourself. What is the input? How you calculate the payment? Uh, this is sequence control structure. You also can write this question by using uh, selection control structure. But uh, in this video, we only cover sequence control structure. That means you still can answer it uh, using sequence control structure. Try to do it first. Please do this evaluation.